Hey man, say man, you know the play, man. Welcome today to another episode of Ear to the Street where we highlight some of the biggest artists across the nation, across the globe, and right here in the crib. And today, man, we got one of my favorite artists. Live from Vulture Island. You know what I'm talking about? You hear me, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 At the intersection of that four and that nine, you heard me. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talking about Ralph Four Nine. Let's go, today, man. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up with it, man? Chilling, man, and battle with it. Man, NBA. so you, 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 man, you came a long way. I'm gonna tell you something. We, we, we've been working the strip club for a long time, and we used to come over here to my, to my boss here in the radio and be like, "Yo, Vulture Island," and he would be like, "No," yeah. and then we'd walk away and we come back. Everybody tell me that. Bro. Listen, and then bro, we would come bro, back. I understand it, dude. I understand you know it, dude. Saying, from where we were staying at in the club, when we dropped Vulture Island, bro, shut it down immediately, yeah. bro. Nah, for like, sure. Yeah. Nah, I'm, sure. Talking about, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Nigga, you cut that motherfucker down. And people know word for word. Nah, I'm, talking for before, sure. I'm talking about even before Baby jumped on the remix. You nah, know what type shit. Like the yeah. Nah, for sure, yeah. for sure. So. But again, the conversation was like, yo, Vulture Island, no. Mm. Bro, we need to come back the next week. Yo, Vulture <laughs> yeah. Island, oh, God. no. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> come back the next week. Vulture Island, okay, but only for a week. Oh, we went crazy, bro. <laughs> we went sure. crazy, bro. Yeah, and then the same sure. thing happened with, with my mom, remember? With mama, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, yeah. bro. But then the crazy thing about it was, so two weeks ago, I mean, this is a program director here, so I'm in charge of the mix show, right? Yeah. So two weeks ago, I started to bring up on the money, but I was like, he gonna shut it down on me. Yeah, yeah, And he yeah. goes, hey, hey, uh, don't forget the, that new uh, song with, with Cardi and Rob Fortnite. Now he yeah, knows the name, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, now he knows the name, and he was like, yeah, on the money, go ahead, go ahead and put that on the list. And I was like, man. Thanks. All right, cool. Hey, I said, like, let me not even, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to change his mind today. Nah, you know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, but sure. before then, he let us have our run at Bussin' too. He did. He let us go he crazy did. with Bussin'. He did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. So we were nuts with that one too. Yeah, he did. Sure. Yeah. But for us, it's just about, you know, just about the overall sound, bro. Uh -huh. And it's different, and, and you got your own sound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even handling from New Orleans, where you would kind of expect more of, of a bounce song or, or a bounce yeah. feel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got your own kind of feel. Nah, and sure. we appreciate that, bro. I Thanks. appreciate y'all, brother. It sound like y'all be going hard behind me. So hey, we do, that. bro. We do. I really appreciate that, yeah. brother, because I be showing a lot of DJ and stuff for real. So to hear y'all show a lot of me, it just feel a little good, like you know. Yeah, for yeah. Real. So what is your what is your uh, this your first, it's not your first time in, in Dallas? I know you was here for the tour. Yeah, I was uh, here for the sure tour. not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here for the tour. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I can't. I don't really love that. I gotta love her that. I won't move her for real. I so you gotta, let us, you gotta let, us, let us take you out. We gotta, we gotta give you the Toxic Boys experience. What? That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take you down to DG's on Monday. What for that sure. is? Today is Monday. Yeah. Today is Monday. It is Big Money Monday at DG's. We rolling? Sure. What that is? Strip Club. Strip, strip Club. club. We go <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we gotta get him a Toxic Boys hat today. This is a Toxic Boy. If I haven't seen one in my life, Toxic Boy hat today. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Today. Hey, so talk to me about this record with Cardi B. Mm. I think this is a, a, a big record for you. Yeah. Um, a milestone, even. Yeah. How did it come about? Yeah. Um, the record was really for her. The song was for her. Um, I don't know. I just, I just was like, she ain't drop it. Yeah. I just told my people like, I just gonna have it. She did it. Like, and then it was like, she said, yeah. And the, oh, yeah. the song for me, like every song for me, like I don't know, I, I just be liking shooting. Like I like shoot my shot, keep yeah. shooting my shot. Yeah. To, like yeah. you never know, you know what I'm saying? I look at every song the same for us. So I look at that just like I look at a song by myself. Like yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, shoot yeah. the shot at least to get it off. Like you know. What was that reaction when you got that call though? Like, hey, Cardi want to do something. I ain't gonna lie. Was it was like, right. Like come on, bro. Like I nah, had to be nah, like, yeah. I was just like, nah, I'm straight. Like because. I'm not, thinking, real? I'm not thinking she gonna do it. You didn't wanna set your hopes up. I don't put my what, you thought you were getting pumped or something? Not even that, it's just like, like, I ain't even about to set myself up for that because yeah. I've been working so hard on my mental, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanna keep so, it right. Yeah. So I'm like, they're like, man, you tripping, bro, at least send it. I'm like, bet, all right, let me just send it. I was saying, she was like, she did it. I was like, what? That's wild. That's wild. So when you first heard it back and like, what you like, what was the, what was the emotion like? I was messing with it, I, was, I just felt good. Yeah. It felt good. It felt like, all right, Ben, like, all right, we going in the right direction, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even if, like, a lot of songs for me, I don't really be caring about his. Like, I just would tell him, um, the people from my lib, like, man, let's drop this song. I got a song that Birdman talking about. Like, is it a hit? I'm like, I'm not looking for hits. I, I just, you just gotta, sometimes you gotta be a part of the culture. Like, you talking, you, you know looking for that feeling, that energy. I'm looking, looking for, for the, the energy. I feel that. I feel I want that. people to see me, like, Oh, he doing his own thing. Yeah. yeah. So when the hit come, they gonna be like, he got a hit now. Like it's all right because yeah. we listen to good music. You making good music. Yeah. Like, as long as you keep good music going, the hit gonna find itself. Like, 
Facts. You better know it. And, and that's like, and, and very rarely, and, and you know what? Shout out to you for that. Because Absolutely. very rarely, usually people is all about, you know, let me get that hit. Let me get this. Let me get that. And for you, the culture is more important. To us, the culture is more important. Yeah, so we agree with you heartily on that, bro. Even like going to BT and stuff, I feel like this is how more street artists like getting a lot of awards. Because yeah. All they doing is stealing out whole sauce and, and then making it on a main street level and try to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I be looking at it like, man, they just stole, stole my whole shit. They ain't even, they ain't even nominated me for nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just be yeah. weird. Like, I don't know. I and you had like, a hell of a year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like BT need to get back to like really looking at black entertainment. If we talking about like black entertainment, like, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? We not talking about like entertainment. Else. Yeah. It's about black entertainment. Yeah, facts. So who who? It's a reason why these people like like our music because we the ones. Like, yeah. So if they like it, make the whole world like what we actually like. Don't make it like oh it yeah. Have to be this a real was, reflection of the culture. Like, this, this, don't yeah. force feed us that bullshit. Yeah. You feel what I'm you saying? Know what I'm saying? Have, yeah. it, have it be what we actually like, and we like it for a reason because it reminds us ourselves. So yeah. Nicki Minaj says something, and I want you. To, I, I think I know that you agree with it, but I just want to confirm it. She said that when she was coming up on the radio, you would hear you know, a uh, talent. Now, on the radio, you hear popularity. Exactly. You agree with that? Exactly. Talk to me about that. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Like I just said, bro, it's like, they're not giving us what we actually like. Like, and, and your car, you listen to the talent. Yeah. You listen to the, what feels good. Yeah, what you like. What you like. Yeah. But on, the, on TV, it's like, <laughs> who did the most Nike commercials? Like, right, and that's not who got the most TikTok views. And that's not it. Yeah, like, it's not, that's it. not what we looking for. Right, we looking for who we actually say. All right, when we go to Jamaica. When we go, who we is? Who is we turning on? Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Skilly bang for me. Yeah, skilly bang. Crazy. I fuck with skilly bang. Bro. I got some with skilly bang. Yeah, for real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you gotta give me that. Yeah, for you sure. You gotta give me that, I ain't bro. Got this phone, bro. <laughs> Yo. I had it for like a year and a half now. People sleeping on Skilly Bang. Yeah, Skilly Bang. Beast. Huh? Beast. Yeah, yeah. But I think they also slept on you for a while, too. Nah, for sure. Because for real, like, I we, saw it, still sleeping, we saw we it. We saw it from the beginning, bro. We was in like, the strip club. Uh -huh. Where we break a record from the rawest form of let's just see how, you know, 100 motherfuckers react to this. Uh -huh. And that 100 turns to 200, turns to 300, because now you start to play it on later on in the night. Uh -huh. Till eventually, we say stuff like, hey, we should take this up to the PD over there and, and see if we can get it on the radio. And, uh -huh. you know, but that's how we develop a record, you know, from scratch. Uh -huh. So for us, we just feel like, Man, shit, I'm going to say it, Papa Ron. We feel like we grew up with you, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, <laughs> you know? Nah, I, I appreciate that, bro, because I understand what y'all saying. It's like, nigga, I seen it when it was nothing, and then we yeah. y'all so close to me, being from New Orleans. Like, so y'all be like, well, this- Are we neighbors? You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Facts. This from right here. Like, mm -hmm. this, this guy up the grapevine yeah. to, to us. Yeah. Like, this mm -hmm. ain't get to Cali yet. Uh-uh. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I, I understand 100%. Like, and bro, what's something about you that people don't know? Like a fun fact about you that people would never guess. I'm addicted to movies. Really? I'm addicted to watching movies. What kind of movies? Every movie. Like I don't. It's, at this point, it's not even fun because I done seen every movie. You done seen everything. When I'm looking, I'll be like, uh, I done seen everything. So you don't want to scrolling through Netflix for thirty minutes trying to find something to yeah. Past every yeah. Minute. It's to the point where I just get off Netflix and be like, it's over with. I got to watch out the movie. You don't have a, a specific genre of movies that you like? Nah. Just like them all? I like them all. I like all just movies. Just like a good story? Uh, I feel just, that. This is a, a good movie to watch. Just a vibe. I'm a, a movie head. Like, I learn from everything. Yeah. 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 I like hearing a goofy talk, a, a smart person talk, and a janitor talk. You gonna listen to all of them talk, all of them say different stuff. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you learn stuff from all yeah. I learn stuff from movies. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the uh, the Wolverine and Deadpool movie? Nah, I ain't see that. Me yeah, neither. I'm a Deadpool fan too. So y'all tweaking, bro? Yeah, yeah I haven't seen it yet either. I started to nah, go yesterday. I like, I like, seeing, I yeah. like Deadpool though, but I just ain't, I just ain't go. I wasn't seeing that new movie Trapped. Mm, oh, was that's it? the one with um with the, uh, with the girl. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My fuse was telling me about that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, that was good. It was. It's, it's like a movie about um. A concert, they done a fake concert. A mm. man was killing people, so like a serial killer. Yeah, it's yeah. a serial killer. So they, he he ain't got no way out of the concert. Yeah, I saw the preview like for it. Yeah, I said crazy. I'm gonna check that out for yeah, sure. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah, that was a good movie. I liked it. What about uh? So this used to, you've been in Dallas before. So what is your your favorite thing about Dallas? <laughs> he about you to say, say the booty. You say can say it. it. Guess what? Everybody say it's fine. The girls. Yeah. There it is. Everybody yeah. say it. The girls. Dallas girls. Everybody say the same thing. Every time. But look, they do the same thing you just did. They be like, oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, like, oh, we know what he's about to say. We know what he's about to say. We see him every day. We know what it is. I don't know. They just supportive. Like the whole Dallas is actually supportive. Is that's southern hospitality? Yeah, but it's crazy. It's real in Texas. Nah, that was like with you the long way though. Just yeah. know that. So, you know how yeah. you go to the go to the club and you see all the dudes in the back like this. Mm -hmm. They not on that. They, yeah. they, they turned up with you like I love that like, look Papa Ron when Papa Ron DJs he'll mm -hmm. come out from the DJ booth and he'll come out to dance for about three or four minutes and he goes back in the DJ booth for real? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, got, hard, I gotta catch my vibe bro yeah. that's, how sure. yeah. Be, bro. Yeah. Yeah. that's how it's supposed to be bro yeah yeah, it's a vibe that's how it's supposed to be bro you need to do like a strip club like tour that. like a like a like a, a, a countrywide strip club tour damn yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah nah. like a performance though you know what I'm saying I know what cause I feel hey, like that's, that's like where your core audience I is just did, I just did hers when like Jocelyn yeah, yeah exactly Jocelyn. I just did the one for her in the I don't lie that was just like that shit was so hard to me yeah but you know I just, I just think that's where your core audience is at yeah I know another fun fact though that people I don't know about you I think that too though yeah? Yeah, I think that too. Yeah, you should do I mean, you know I'll be, I'll be let the Toxic Boys host it when it comes to Dallas I'll be in ballpark like I'll go to a baseball game I'll be looking around, I'll be like, damn, nobody know me. And then your audience is like the people in the back cooking the food. Like, Yo, because like, then you go to the concession, they're going to be like, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm <laughs> like. Now, I, I got a couple fun facts about you that when I asked you about, you kind of didn't, you didn't mention. So I'm going to bring them up. Yeah. I know you was in the National Guard. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, how has that affected you as, as far as like like your man and your structure and, and how you move? That, that, that made me a man, I think, just because like, you travel the world by yourself. You see, like you seeing different stuff. You feel like you can do anything in this world. Like you know what I'm saying. I think that was one of the one of the times that if I ain't go through that, I wouldn't be here. Mm. Today. I honestly feel like that. Mm. And you also uh, paid to have fathers bonded out for Father's Day. Yeah, I saw that. Talk yeah. to me about that. Like, what was the motive behind that? Um, I mean, just for them to be with their kid with their kids, or like, like what was show, you? My first show was for um was for Father's Day. We did it at an Airbnb. Mm. I had was rapping for like three months, and it was crazy, and it was, and it, it was on Juneteenth weekend. So That's dope. Every year I just been doing my show on Juneteenth weekend, and I had did it at the Fillmore for two. I did it at the Republic. That's like a a little theater, or whatever like that. Then I did it at the Fillmore two years, and then this year I just went big, just went to arena. That's and dope. I sold it out. I'm like, man. Selling out we the arena. Let's give it up for selling out the arena. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. I'm like, we gotta make we gotta make it make sense. Like we gotta make some. You know what I'm saying? Make a feeling behind it. And my mama thought about that and we just did it. Cause that's, like, that's I grew lit. up without a, a pop. So like, that's how many how many dads solo did you guys bond out? I don't know, I don't know. how many we bond out, like, like five. Yeah? I ain't gonna say, uh, yeah, let me rephrase I that. mean shit, one is a lot. My my pops was in jail. Okay. I ain't gonna say grow up without a pops. My pops on the phone talking to me, teaching me. Yeah. I'm gonna fix that, yeah. So that was important to you? Yeah, it was important. Yeah, okay, see like for me, I do this thing called Zay Day every year. We give yeah. away 100 backpacks and haircuts. Was filled, the backpacks filled with school supplies for that's the kids. Hard. It was on third year this year. Yeah. But to me, that's important because I didn't have that when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And I had to rely on a lot of these like programs, you know, at the YMCA, at uh -huh. the Salvation Army, you uh -huh. know, shit like that. Like, boys Club. Shout yeah, the Boys, boys Club. Club. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, <laughs> so for me, it, it's that much yeah. more important to just kind of put it back out there. That's why I asked you that because uh -huh. usually when people do something, especially I did something for kids with uh, Down syndrome and autism too. My son got Down syndrome. Yeah. So a lot of times when we step out on certain stuff, it's because we have a personal you know, attachment to it. So that's what I wanted to ask you about, uh -huh. like why bond out all the dads and all that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. And that's why it's important to you. So what's next for Rob Four Nine? Um dropping the album mm. and just keep going, man. I just wanna stay consistent and just let the hit find itself. Like I said, like I don't know, I just wanna make some good music. Yeah. Build a core fan base that like my music, like what I do, like what I stand for. Yeah. That's all I want for real. Yeah. Hey, and how lit was it when you pulled up with, with little baby to the to the project, bro? Crazy. What was the like everybody's reaction? Like, I talk to me about that. Right now, I think about that. We like, damn. I wonder if I took that. Bring a little baby to the projects is big. Nah, you to your home team, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Especially he was in, like he was the he was the biggest in the world. At yeah, the time, at that too. time, yeah. yeah, yeah. So for sure, I ain't gonna lie. I think I took that for granted. Not even for granted because I didn't, but. Maybe you, you didn't know, enjoy the moment as much as you enjoy wanted to. The type. Moment as much yeah, you, you was to, too like, cool, just, or like yeah, yeah. I wasn't even too cool. I, yeah. I had fun, but it's like, man, I wish I would have just captured more. Yeah, I wish I would have had more people out there filming, filming, just catching, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's it. Just meant so much to my career. It yeah. meant so much to my life. And nah, that's yeah. probably the biggest moment of my life, literally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was it saying that, my life. I was well. saying that to my partner the other day. It's like sometimes some of the illest moments in your life you'll never get to record. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
and it's like it happened. And, and so we'll be like, ah, I did it. Where's the picture? Where's that? It's like, ah, oh, bro. It's like I couldn't do it in that moment. It would look weird. Like but the biggest thing about it is living in it. Yes. Yeah. Just in being present in that moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you feel like you were present in that moment? I was definitely present. Yeah. I remember the day like, oh, that's the day. I remember I was definitely yeah. present. What was like? So, but I guess my, my question is like, what was people in the neighborhood's reaction? They was excited for me. Yeah. Like, I'm the golden child where I'm from. That's what I'm saying. I for sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, um, what other things are you doing uh, b- back home though as well? Um, I know you heavily involved in the community. We're supposed to be doing a Christmas giveaway. Um, I don't know, lie. We've been doing that shit. For yeah, like, we just be doing it. It ain't even. It don't even be about nothing. Like, I just called. I just called my niggas in the hood the other day. I'm like, man, look, I might see y'all some money. Go get five basketball goals. Like just to do it, because, just to do it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Bring everybody outside. Like, yeah. I so I can't even really say that because we do it. We do so much, bro. It's just like right. We ain't even looking for that, you know. Yeah, Yo, I'm that's just a fact. Really not even looking for that. That's a fact. So, any last words and thoughts for all your fans here in Dallas Fort Worth? Thank y'all for listening to me, man. I love Dallas, and if you love me, I love you seriously. You know what's funny? When I was in Dallas, somebody came to my show. And the dude told me, like, man, we've been following you since day one, man. Me and my wife, we've been following you. He said, um... Not me and my wife. Me and my wife is crazy. <laughs> nah, yeah. bro. Real G, bro. Yeah, yeah, real I shit. Remember, dude told me, um, be safe, man. God told me to tell you that. But I couldn't believe somebody actually told me that. Yeah. And that's when I came to the conclusion, I only want my, I only want a core fan base. I don't want to... Well, if it happened, it happened. But every now and then, like, I was thinking about this year. Like, I went, I did the arena last year. I was thinking like, I think I want to do a free concert, thousand people like, and not do my show this way, but you know, money get involved. And yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah, 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 Thank y'all, Dallas, and thank you too if you're listening, bro. I, I just to let you know, I be thinking about that a lot.